at last. Here she be, lads. The treasure room. Well done indeed. If the rumors about this ship are true, what lies beyond this door could be the answer to our prayers. Don't be thick. Of course it's locked. They can't be making it too easy for us, can they? Now, put your backs into it, lads. Break it down. Finally. Seems you lunkheads are good for something after all. Hey! Just what do you think you're doing, Perkins? Surely you don't mean to be cutting in front of me. First rule of the sea. The captain always gets first dibs. It was my careful planning that made this whole heist possible in the first place. You think I'd let your moldy boots be the first ones in? Now back it up and keep your greasy hide in the hallway until I say otherwise, Savvy. This is it, lads. We've struck it rich. There be near enough gold and jewels here to pave the streets of Angoria. <laughs> Aye, I foresee a lively romp in the tavern for all of us tonight. Mayhap we can use some of these here golden goblets. And what have we here? You like rubies, don't you, Perkins? Well, too bad. I'll be taking this jeweled cutlass for myself. If you ask nicely, mayhap I'll let you. Hmm? Well, well. Seems I've got company. Who are you? A thief? A deserter from the battle? Come down here to hide? Either way, lucky me. I thought the bloodshed was over and done with, but it seems my blade will be getting one more taste of crimson today. <laughs> Where are you? Come out, come out now. Do you really think you'll be able to hide from me? You have no idea who you're dealing with. Or perhaps you do. Mayhaps that's why you're cowering in the shadows, like a trapped rat. After all, the mere sight of me flag is enough to make your thread of life start to fray. Aye, you can feel it already, can't you? If you come on out, I promise I'll make it quick for you. But if I find you first, trust me, you wish you were... What the... A cage? Who in their right mind would keep an animal in a place like this? <gasps> Wait. By the Dread King. That be no animal. Hey, you lass. Can you hear me? Open your eyes. Ah, good. You're still drawing breath. Hey, hey, it's all right. I'm not gonna hurt ye. Oh, this? Ah, don't be afeard. I don't intend to use it on you. Unless this turns out to be some sort of ruse. But given the state of ye, that doesn't seem likely. There, see? Now, what are you doing in here, lass? And what's your name? Lost your tongue, have you? Come on now. I know you'd be frightened, but when I ask, wise men answer. What do they call ye? Hmm. Can't say I've heard that one before. Unusual to be sure, but pretty all the same. Me? <laughs> well, they call me a lot of things. Most of them not fit for the ears of a lovely lass like yourself. To my enemies, I'm no Mercy Morgan. You, though, 
You can call me Captain Morgan. That there's my ship, anchored outside. The Black Rose. Finest vessel whatever sailed the seas. Now, what the hellfire are you doing locked up in here, lass? Kidnapped, were ya? Was it the Duke's men who took ya? Bones curse. It's not enough that he thinks the kingdom's wealth is his for the taking. Now he be taking people too. What did they want with you? You don't know. Well, nothing good, I'd wager. Probably thought they could fetch a good price for ye. Blimey, and here I thought I was the heartless bastard. Oh, you don't have to worry, lass. You may be as lovely as a summer's sunset, but the rose is me one and only. I could never betray her. You've got nothing to fear for me. Now, what say you come along with me aboard the rose? The crew and I have important business elsewhere. But we'll be stopping soon at Angoria. You've never heard of Angoria? Blimey, where are you from, lass? Must be from under a rock. Finest port city on the continent. Well, the finest if you're a pirate, at least. Most other folks know it's a rowdy, ramshackle den of scoundrels. But it gets ships from all over the world. I'm sure you could find one bound for your homeland. Wherever it may be. Let you out? Ah, of course, where are me manners? Brace yourself, lass. This is gonna be loud. <laughs> there, now out you come. Wait, where are you going? Don't be daft. In an hour's time, she'll be at the bottom of the sea. Even if I weren't planning to sink her. You can't man a ship all by yourself. I'll not be letting you go down along with her. Ah, being trapped in a cage must have muddled your mind. You're coming with me, lass. No more arguing. Here, take my coat. That shift is a bit threadbare. I can be a gentleman if I must. But I can't for sure say the same about the rest of the lunkheads I call my crew. Ah, don't be afeard. They'll do nothing to you on my watch. And if they try, believe me, they'll be meeting Davy Jones much sooner than they thought. Hmm? You're looking pretty weak, lass. Can you walk? Oh well. No matter. Upsy daisy. Ha <laughs> ha Please, you're light as a feather compared to a chest of gold. I'll send in my men to get the rest of the loot. But as for you, I think it's time I introduce you to the Rose. I'm sure she'll be glad to have a pretty thing like you aboard.